This, the CEO of Chickasaw Bank and Oklahoma Transportation Commissioner, a weekly panelist on Wake Up America, and a friend and a great guy, T.W. Shannon, is with us. T.W., great to have you all to myself, just one-on-one, -on -one, um, but I figured you were the perfect person to ask about this, the spending plan. If it's passed, this is going to target 99% of the population in America. More than 300 million people would be affected by this day one. Why does the IRS need this information? Yeah, Rob, first of all, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. This is a Treasury proposal, as you mentioned, that is part of the $3.5 trillion infrastructure spending spree, or as Congressman Kennedy called it, uh, the, the spending orgy, uh, if you will. But this is actually frightening, and it's reminiscent of KGB-style governing. I mean, you've got a proposal that requires every bank in America to essentially report to the IRS every transaction that's over $600, and it would really make us the policing arm of the IRS. I mean, it's really uh, a regulation of community banks that's going to regulate us out of existence. And whether, you know, the donations to your church or you're buying a rifle, IRS federal agents would have an eye on your transaction. This is already a large portion of unbanked Americans who are hesitant with our banking system anyway, and this would only grow that number. Uh, it's quite chilling that President Biden at this time would be proposing such a proposal in order to ra raise revenue uh, to pay for this out-of-control spending you're seeing in Washington. Yeah, with a 38 percent approval rating right now on this <laughs> Thursday morning. Um, tell me, just, just from a mechanical standpoint, you, you run a very large bank there in the Midwest. Sure. Um, what, I know that the IRS has to report annually transactions, but what benefit would they get from knowing if I take $600 out to, to buy whatever, a TV? Well, the claim is, is that this would give the IRS the ability to better track people who are avo avoiding taxes. So if you're a S-Corp or, or an LLC or some other business, this would allow them uh, basically to, to compare uh, your income to what you're reporting to the IRS. Allegedly, that's it. But again, as we know, uh, when you empower these bureaucrats in Washington, D.C., very dubious things can happen. And often, it's conservatives who are targeted. The, my real problem with this piece of uh, this idea or proposal is that you're going to make Americans guilty until proven innocent. Yes. And it should be the exact opposite. Exactly. That's really what we're trying to get out here. And again, we, as community banks, we're already competing with, you know, Bitcoin and other digital currencies. We're competing with uh, new, new items that are on the market as far as fintech. We don't need another regulation that's actually going to in increase uh, our cost and also make it more difficult for us to bank uh, people who need to be banked. So and, and, and this let's is be another honest. overreach by the by the Biden administration, where you see them weaponizing uh, agencies against Americans. Yeah, and there and therein lies the the secret sauce. I think uh, eighty billion dollars is attached to this bill to hire IRS agents to audit the American people. That's how they're going to pay for this thing. They're going to know what you're spending. They're going to audit you, and they're going to uh, they're going to do it to millions of people, and, and no one seems to care. Uh, but I'm glad that this bill was delayed a little bit so we could actually discover that this was in there. Uh, T.W. Shannon, we'll see you tomorrow back on the panels right here on Wake Up America. We appreciate the expertise. Good to see you. Thanks, Rob. Always a pleasure.